Room tour? That's a thing? Alright. Let's check it out. Alright, this is the camera that I was using to record this video. It is a Canon EOS 7D. I've got a 10 to 22 millimeter lens on it right now. It's a 3. f3.5 to f4.5. Uh, the tablet there is a Nexus 7 running DSLR controller that allows me to control the camera and monitor the camera while recording. This is my little corner of the basement, my nerd cave, my man cave, my creative space. Uh, I do record all of my own music for my videos, and I do that all right from the computer down here in the basement. So, let's take a look and see what kind of stuff I use. Alright, this is my drum set. It is a Pacific by DW five-piece maple shelled kit. Uh, I just put brand new Evans drum heads all the way around. I have an assortment of Minel, Zildjian, and one pasty cymbal. Uh, DW5000 double bass pedals and a menagerie of orphaned hardware. I purchased this kit used from a good friend of mine and this is the most therapeutic instrument you could ever play. Nothing like beating the hell out of something to make you relax. This is a Casio Salviano digital piano. I purchased this new years ago from Island Music. Uh, great digital piano, very durable. What's really nice is I can hook it up via MIDI to the audio interface and use it to control the synths in Studio One. Here are the remnants of my live rig from back when I used to play live. Uh, it's a B52 Stealth Series 60 watt tube guitar amplifier head. It's a Crate 412 cabinet uh, with four eminence speakers and on the floor is a J12 foot controller that controls the preamp that's currently on my desk. These are my two absolute favorite guitars, Yamaha RGX 821D on the left and 621D on the right. Bought them both used for under 150 bucks. Fabulous instruments for the money. Unbelievable. Love them. And these are the other guitars. Uh, there's a PV bass guitar. It's a Chinese PV. Uh, there's an Epiphone Les Paul Custom. A seven string Washburn Cheap Electric a three-quarter scale Fender Stratocaster, a Fender six-string acoustic, and a Washburn 12-string acoustic. Uh, this is a CB percussion xylophone that was a gift to me from my wife for Christmas last year. Very fun instrument to mess around with. And here is my portable recorder. It's a Tascam DR40. And here is my ancient PC. It is a Cooler Master Cosmos case. Um, I don't have a lot to say about it. It's old. It's about eight years old. The components inside are ancient. I just put a GTX 950 video card in it. It does what I need it to do still. These are the speakers I'm using for desktop monitors. They are Alesis Elevate 3 speakers. 50 bucks. Couldn't go wrong. They sound great for the money. Here's the headphone rack I built last summer. I got a couple of pairs of Logitech headphones on the bottom. A uh, pair of Sony studio monitor headphones and a pair of Beats Audio noise canceling headphones, which are awesome for travel. Here's my Logitech G27 racing wheel pedals and shifter. Really easy to grab that and slide it under the desk and play some racing games with it. So here's my desk. This is built out of a uh, hollow core door sitting on two filing cabinets, one on each side. Uh, the hollow core door is covered in automotive grade vinyl, which I picked up. It's a scrap from a fabric store locally for about 10 bucks. The top tier is a closet hollow core door wrapped in sign maker's vinyl, just black, shiny vinyl. All right, the laptop's a 17 inch Toshiba satellite running Ubuntu Linux 1404. Uh, I got a Logitech G13 game controller over there. On top row, bottle Russian vodka next to that, my Kodak. Easy share picture frame below that, a 10 port USB hub, some USB sticks, and a guitar tuner, which is very necessary if you're a player. Uh, Logitech G15 keyboard above that, a Korg Nano Pad 
MIDI controller. Uh, above that is a Digitech 2112 Studio Guitar System preamp processor. Above that, American DJ PDP-800 power distribution panel. Next to that, my M-Audio M-Track Plus audio interface, my iPhone 6, and some empty desk space. All right, well, that's the tour of my nerd cave, man cave, creative space, whatever you want to call it. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope maybe you had some ideas on how to set yours up. I know I've learned a lot from watching other people's setups on YouTube. Really enjoyed taking the time to do this, and uh, I look forward to doing an update eventually. Take care, guys. Thank you.